Hello friends. Uh, so this is the part two of the foreign words legal maxims uh, that I have made. So in this video also I am going to cover the 30 most important legal words for various law entrance examinations like CLAT, ALET, Symbiosis Law Entrance Examinations, uh, DULLB Examination and many more. So let's start. Now the first word is inter alia. So alia means other things. Okay. And inter means among. So inter alia means among other things. If you have watched my fir first video, uh, I have told you in that video that always try to learn these legal maxims or foreign words from the keywords or the root words. And if you are doing that thing, if you are learning the root word, so then I think that you won't face any difficulties. Okay. So root words are very necessary. And the one uh, who hasn't watched my videos yet, like the first part video of the legal words, I'll advise them to watch that part first and then come and watch this one. Okay. So inter alia means among other things. Now the next word is inter se. Inter se means se means themselves. As I've told you, inter means among. Okay. So inter means among and se means themselves. So inter se means among themselves. Now the next word is inter state. Inter state means dying without making a will. You have died without making a will. Making a will. So I don't think that uh, I have to explain this word to you. Now the next word is invendo. So invendo basically means uh, it's an innocent looking statement which has a hidden meaning. Uh, in Hindi you can call this word as tana. Like uh, tana marna kisi ko. So that, that's called invendo. If you have studied the law of defamation then you would have come across three words. Number one is the libel, second one is slender and third word is invendo. I am writing down these words. Uh, libel, L I B E L. Okay. Second one is slender, S L A N D E R. And third one is invendo. This one. Okay, so what happens is that libel basically means you are making defamatory statement in written format by making pictures, by writing a letter or something. You are making defamatory statement in such format. So that one is called libel. Uh, it means it is visible from your eyesight. It, 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 it is visible. If something is visible and it's defamatory, then it is libel. And if something is not visible, okay. Uh, like an audio, okay, like an audio, it because you can't see it, you can feel it, you can hear it. So it's slender. Slender means something which is a which has a defamation, defamatory statement, but it's not in written format. So it is not visible. And the third one is invendo, which means tana marna, which is an innocent looking statement, which has a hidden meaning. Which uh, it means like you're saying something ironic, ironically. Now. The third, uh, next word is intravirus. Intravirus means within power. Uh, many of you have heard this word called ultravirus. Ultravirus means beyond one's power. It's not within our scope. It's totally beyond our power. So it's ultravirus means beyond one's power and intravirus means within power. Both are opposite to each other. Okay. Now the next word is ipso facto. Ipso facto basically means by reason of that very fact. Well, what was the reason of the fact? If you, uh, if an act is done, what was the reason behind that act? What was the re reason behind that fact? That's ipso fact. The next word is lex fori. Lex fori means the law of the court in which the case is tried. If the case is tried in, uh, if the case is tried in Delhi High Court, then that's the lex fori. Delhi High Court becomes the lex fori. If the case is tried in uh, Allahabad High Court, then that court becomes the Lex Fori. So Lex Fori means the law of the court in which the case is tried. You have to follow that law in which in the court in which you are present at that point of time. Now, list pendants means a pending suit. A pending suit which is still under judicial proceedings, which is still under judicial 
conditions and the decision hasn't been come out yet from that uh, case okay now the next word is malfeasance so malfeasance basically means the doing of an unlawful act as from the word only you would have understood uh, you would have uh, see 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 malfeasance mal means something which is bad something which is not according to the law something which is unlawful so malfeasance means something which you are doing and which is not according to the law so the doing of an unlawful act now the next word is mesne profit so mesne profit means damages paid by trespassers who have stayed in position after their right to occupy land is injured suppose uh, you are staying in a rent apartment and your right uh, like your period of your stay has ended but you are still staying in that apartment so now you have to pay some sort of damages uh, because you have trespassed trespassed in that property your right it is ended but still you are remaining there still you are staying there so now you have to pay damages and the damages that you are paying to the owner that is called the mesne profit right okay now the next is non sequitur non sequitur means it does not follow it does not follow sequitur means sequence okay sequitur means sequence non sequence means it uh, non sequence non sequitur means non sequence it means it does not follow it is not according to the sequence it is not according to the number now the next word is obiter dicta obiter dicta means remarks of a judge which are said by the way and not directly relevant to the case at hand it means uh, like the formal remarks of a judge which was not very important which was not relevant to the case but the judge gave uh, at his own will and in no matter it was related to related to the case it was it came out uh, on, just from the uh, uh, judge just from the judge opinion the opinion of the judge that he has uh, that he has given the remarks of the judge that he has given and it was in no matter relevant to the case it was totally out uh, an outside matter now per se per se means by itself intrinsically okay i don't think that i have to explain you this word now the next word is prima facie prima facie the same thing goes for this word prima facie means on the first view now uh, it's a very easy word i think uh, you all know the meaning of this word now pro rasha means in proportion pro rasha in proportion <laughs> not ratio it, it, it not that ratio okay not that ratio proportion now the next word is quantum merit quantum merit means as much as as much as he or she has earned if i have done some work suppose i have done some work so i'll be get paid for the amount of work that i have done the amount of period that i have spent upon so quantum merit basically means i'll be get paid for the uh, time for the time that i have worked for the uh, Uh, for the work that I, I for the type of work that i was doing so as much as i have earned as much as he or she has earned from something that is quantum merit sim sim if uh, if in simple words you want to know the meaning of this word then it, uh, it's like if you are working for 4 hours you'll get paid for 4 hours if you are working for 8 hours you'll get paid for 8 hours so quantum merit means how much you are Uh, how much time you are giving how much effort you are giving you will get paid according to your ca uh, capacity now the next word is pro bono public pro bono public means for the good of public it is for the good of public publicly good now the next word is quantum uh, quasi contract so quasi contract means a contract which comes out from the conduct of the party okay it's a contract which comes out from the conduct of the party like i am giving you an example suppose uh, it's a very common example suppose uh, you are stuck down in a traffic and while uh, while you are stuck uh, while you 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 are in the traffic uh, in uh, you you are in your car okay and from the right hand side of your car th there comes a boy and he starts washing your car uh, from the clothes that he has okay so he cleans your car nicely and then he asks you for money 
and then you told that boy that I didn't tell you to uh, wash my uh, car. I didn't tell you to uh, wash my car from your clothes. Why the hell did you wash my car? I didn't ask you to wash my car, and I won't give you any money. So it doesn't mean that you won't give him money. Well, it, it's your fault. When he started washing your car, you didn't uh, uh, tell him that don't wash my car. You let him do what uh, what he was doing. Okay, so now it's your uh, it's your fault that you uh, don't give him the money. It, it's your mistake that you don't give him the money. Okay, you will have to give the money. There is no other option. It's a contract that uh, that you parties have come uh, into. So now it was the contract that you have come from the conduct. Okay, so quasi contract basically uh, means something a contract which arises from the conduct of the parties. Now quid pro quo basically means something for something. If you are giving me five rupees, I'll give you. Two rupees. If you are giving me five rupees, I will give you five five rupees. It doesn't mean uh, uh, that you will have to give the exact amount or same thing. I if I if I am giving you a, you a car, if I am giving you an Audi car, you can give me a BMW, you can give me a uh, Range Rover or anything. You have to give something for something. If you are taking something, you have to give something. That is quid pro quo. In simple words, it's called consideration. Now the next word is mutatis mutandis. So mutatis mutandis means with necessary changes being made. It's an easy word. Uh, I don't think I have to explain you this one also. Now the next word is moratorium. Moratorium means a legal authorization to a debtor to postpone payment for a certain time. Like I have taken money uh, from a man and uh, for a period of that uh, I told him that I'll repay you the money within a period of three months. And after the period three months gets over, I still don't have the money to repay him. Now he comes and asks asks for the money, and I told him that I don't have the money right now, but I'll issue issue you a moratorium. So moratorium is a le legal authorization to a debtor to postpone payment for a certain time. It means that I'll give you the money, but not now because I don't have it right now. But as I have issued you a moratorium, I'll give it to you after a certain period of time. So you'll get some more period. Uh, to uh, collect the amount uh, in order to uh, get, uh, repay the money. Now the next word is sine die. Sine die basically means indefinitely. It will go on for a continuous period without stopping. Indefinitely to a very extended period to a very uh, uh, to a very to a very 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 indefinite period. <laughs> now the next word is sui generis. So sui generis basically means the only one of its kind. Gene. See, can you see this word called gene? Generis. Generis. Generis means the one, only one of its kind. Same gene, same kind. Now, respondent superior. Respondent superior means let the principal be held liable. Uh, respondent superior. Let the principal be held uh, responsible. It is also called the master servant relationship i think uh, when you will start solving the legal cases uh, uh, for the clad entrance examination or any entrance examination when even you solve the uh, legal principle you come across a legal principle called master servant relationship so master servant relationship also means respondent superior which means let the principal be held liable if the servant is committing a wrong and he is under the order he is under the uh, order of his master in that case master will be held liable not his servant because he was under his order he was under his uh, he was under his order at that point of time when the crime was committed when that thing was done okay so in that case the master will be held liable not the servant so that's the thing that that's called the respondent superior now the next word is reason de etre reason de etre means reason for the existence of thing why the thing uh, has been existing. W what's the reason behind that? That is called reason de etre, reason for the existence of that particular thing. Now, the next word is ratio decidendi. So, ratio decidendi basically means the reasoning of a judicial decision or a principle let down in a case by a court. Ratio decidendi. It means the important principles, the uh, principles that you are letting down in a case, in a case under a court so that is called ratio decidendi now the next word is dolly capex dolly capex means capable of crime dolly capex are you capable of committing that crime if you are capable of committing that crime then we can say it's dolly capex and 
there is a, another word called dolly in capex which means incapable of crime no crime was committed Won't, uh, though he doesn't have the power to uh, uh, commit that crime dolly capex dolly in capex now the next word is fox plus fox plus means blunder mistake tactless mistake mistake which can't be corrected once you have made that mistake now it can't be corrected it's a very blunder mistake very 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 blunder mistake fox pass now the next word is force majeure force majeure means irresistible compulsion beyond one's control okay so it's totally beyond one's control force majeure from the name onwards you can uh, like find this find the meaning of this word force majeure to, to, totally beyond one's control not under one's power now the next word is in limine in limine means initial stage at the outset okay initially at the initial in limine stage now the next uh, okay guys so these were the 30 important words that i have covered covered in this video and this was the part 2 that i have made if you have uh, if you think that my video was good and so please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that uh, i can make some more good videos for you all and please write it down in the comment section that now you want me to make videos on the third part or uh, will the two parts will be enough for your preparation and if you want me to prepare some more videos on some other topics just write it down in the comment section too so that i can ma start making uh, such videos for you all thank you